the truth shall make you free. The only way out of our condition is to keep the commandment. That's right. That's right. We went into slavery because we broke the law. So let's get to that. First, give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Because it's very important. Young man, can I ask you a question? You look like a, you look about you're in your early 20s. Would that be about correct? 24. So you're old enough, but you're young enough. What's your nationality? Your bloodline. With, if you were to fill out a job application, what title would they tell you to select? Say it again, I can't hear you. I say other. Like other. And why do you say other? Because you're still not, you're confused. You really don't know. First, and, and your mindset is great because African America, let's break that term down real quick. Africa was named after who? Leo Skippers Africanus when he conquered Hannibal, which was an Israelite during the Second Punic War, and he named that continent oh, I'm sorry. after himself. I'm sorry. America was named after America Vespucci, a Roman navigator, when they conquered America. So if you do say you're African American, you say you come from what? Two white people. And that's not possible. But are you old, old enough to know how we came to America? How did the black folks get to America? Ah. By the white man, what mode of transportation? Is that in the Bible? Yes, it is. I'm going to give you a part of your history out of the Bible that correlates with world history that they won't teach you. This is why they will kill you being slaves. Let me do the one on one. Check this out. Give me five minutes of your time. Hook up! Up to the lottery! Chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out! These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Who was Moses speaking to? All Israel. Chapter 7 and 6. The first five books in the Bible are written by who? Moses. To the Israelites. For the Israelites. Guess what? It was written for this day for you to find out who you are according to the Bible to get out of your condition. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou and, and holy people unto the Lord thy God. Hold on for one second. Than not, correct? It's special. You like that one. It's separate than all your other clothing, right? The Lord said that you're a special people unto Himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So He says, You're a special people unto Himself above. Where are you at right now? Are we above as a people or are we at the bottom? We're definitely at the bottom. So if I'm confessing to you, that the children of Israel that Moses is speaking to is you, you could say to me, bro, we're at the bottom, so that doesn't apply. It does apply. Let me show you. Go to uh, Deuteronomy 28 more. Because everything that has happened to us is because of our doing. So if we did something wrong to the Most High, we corrected what's going to happen to us. Watch this. Read. Go look. Of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken to Who's that thou? Who's that thou? We're still in Deuteronomy. Thou is Israel. All Israel, Moses. Thou, Israel. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If thou will read that again, if thou will listen, hearken. The, the first four letters of hearken is here. If you will listen diligently, read. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments. Some of his commandments. All his commandments. The Christian church, or not Christian church, 
Christianity tells you that the laws are done away with. So some of the laws are none of the laws. All his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So what was the condition for us to be set on high above all the nations? What did we have to do? Read that again. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently Listen. unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. So in order to be set on high, what do we have to do? All, not some of them, not to do like the Christian as if you go, let me rephrase that. If you're up in the church, Christians, we know today, what do they say? The laws are what? Done away with. Under Christ, we're no longer under law, we're under faith or under grace. Well, grace means a certain time period to get back to following the law. But here it says you gotta do all the laws, right? So in order to be above, you have to do all the laws. Where are we at right now? As a people, where are we at now? Are we at the bottom or above? So now, under this time period, 40 years under King lights. David, 40 years under King Solomon, we ruled the world. Guess why? We followed the law. But guess what? Read verse 15. There's a condition. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. It's going to happen. If thou wilt not hearken if, unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you will not listen. So now there's a flip side. They call it the yin and yang, what you reap is what you sow. This, we're sowing what we did to ourselves. Because read that part again. It will come to pass if thou will not hearken. If thou will not listen unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses, all these curses, is, is a curse a good or bad thing? Sis, is a curse a good or bad thing? Bad. Bad. And when it says curses, it has an S at the end of it. Is it singular or is it plural? Plural. So it's a multitude of curses that was put on the Israelites because we didn't keep what? The laws. Now you said, how do we get to America? Now, hold on. Excuse me. Young man, can I ask you a question? How did the black people get to America? And what was our mode of transportation? You can be honest. Boats. Boats, slave ships. One thing about other nations, they will tell you the truth. When you ask our people, sometimes they don't want to tell you how we got here. But it's written in the history books. But guess where else it's written? Right here. Watch this. Go to verse 68. The book of the... No. Finish that out. Verse 15. Finish that out. Start from the top. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these bad things shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Read verse 46. Verse 46. And they, and they which are the curses, shall be upon thee for a sign. For a sign. Turn around and tell me how you know what that building is right there. It's a, it's a sign, Smithfield. So these curses will be upon the Israelites as a sign. And for a wonder. Remember, we're above, but where are we at now? For a wonder upon you for how long? Read that part. And upon thy seed. What is your seed? We like to say it when we talk, cool talk. Yo, man, my seed's at home. I got a little seed. What is your seed? Children. Your children. Upon thy seed. Forever. How long is forever? So let's think about it. These curses will be upon the children of Israel for a sign and a wonder and upon our children for how long? Forever. Does that apply today? So yeah. these curses will be upon the children of Israel. Give me 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Now let me ask you a question again. What was our mode of transportation? He said it, he was on it. How did we get here? Our mode of transportation was what? Slave cargo boats. Slave ships, read. 
book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. On the back of a dollar bill. Here in America, what's on the back of a dollar bill? What does that represent? We're in the pyramid. But what does it represent? What country? Egypt. Egypt. Why does America have a, a, a pyramid on the back of its dollar bill? And then the next, what else is on the back of the dollar bill? Which represents what? America. Why does it have a pyramid on one end and a bird on the other? There's some symbolism going on right there. Your first captivity and your last captivity. Watch this. But let's read the Bible. The Bible's going to tell you what Egypt is. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And the Lord shall bring you into Egypt. What were the Israelites in Egypt? What were the Israelites in Egypt? What were they? The Israelites in Egypt. In Egypt. They were slaves. Under Ramses and Python, guess who built the pyramid? The Israelites. One dark skinned race had another dark skinned race in slavery. When they when Moses delivered them out of Egypt, how did they get out? He split the Red Sea and they walked in. So they walked in 70 souls deep. He split the Red Sea and they walked out. Did they ever go back into Egypt as a nation? No. You can't find that throughout world history. So watch what Egypt means. The book of Exodus. Chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. The operative word is what? Egypt out of the house of bondage. What's another word for bondage? Slavery, bondage, captivity. The house of what? Bondage. Go back. So now we're going to get some understanding. We're going to break down the scriptures for, so they can forever be broken down to the very last compound so you'll know exactly who you are according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Slavery. Bondage. Again. A second time. We never went back into Egypt. So what does Egypt mean? Bondage. Slavery. What is America to us? Why the, on the back of a dollar bill has the pyramid? And the, uh, and the bird, because this is spiritual Egypt. With ships. I could drop the mic now. How did we get to America? He said it. How did it say we would go back into slavery again? With ships. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.